In today's tutorial, I will show you how to get movie images using the Movie Database API. This is what the final result will look like once we make the actual API call. We will see the movie image for the movie that we're specifically searching for. In this case, we see the image for the new Godzilla vs Kong movie. To get started, the first thing we need is an API key from the Movie Database API. If you don't already have your own Movie Database API key, I have a video on my channel that shows you the exact step-by-step -step process of how to get your own API key. Once you have your own API key, we can go to this link here. This link will bring us to the documentation that shows us all the details for the movie images API call. Here's the request that we can just copy, open up Postman, and just import the API call that we just copied. Now we need to replace the movie ID here with the actual ID of the movie that we're searching for. There are many different ways of getting the movie ID, but in this example, I'll just use the trending movies and TV shows API call. From the response, we can see the ID of every trending movie and TV show. So in this example, I'll just copy the value here for the Dune part two movie. Going back here, I'll just paste it in now for the movie ID value. One last thing that we need to do before we make the API call is to add our API key, which we can easily do by adding it as a query param. So the key would just be API underscore key and the value would just be your API key. So just paste it here. Now we can click send to make the API call. Looking at the response, we can see that we get things such as the backdrops, logos, and posters. If we want to see the actual image itself, like I showed earlier, we just need the value of the file path. Once you have this value copied, we can go make a get request to this exact URL and just replace the very last part with the value that we just copied. Then we hit send. And now we can see the movie image for this specific movie, which is Dune part two. If you want more details about this specific URL that I'm using to display the image, you can go to this link here. This will explain how I built the image URL to display the actual image itself. Also, if you make an API call to the configuration API, you can see things such as like the backdrop size, which allows you to customize the width of the image. In the previous example, I used 1280 because I saw that 1280 was one of the options here. That is the end of this tutorial. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, please like the video and don't forget to subscribe for more content.